This is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast with the 10th daily episode. Let's get started. I'm taking the information from the mix and match citizenship interviews and from preparing the oath. Today's lesson was originally posted on March 27th. We are reviewing the B5 interview. We're taking a look at information related to George Washington and uh, we're going to be having a quiz. Today we're departing from our normal format and we're doing a presentation of the civics first. We're going to be discussing George Washington questions 70 and 69. We're taking this information from the transcript from preparing the oath. This website has a video for each one of the 100 questions. However, these videos use flash, so you can't see them on your phone. You have to see them on your computer. These transcripts are available in English and in Spanish. Question 70. Who was the first president? George Washington was the first president of the United States. He was president from 1789 to 1797. Before he became president, George Washington was a general of the American Army. George Washington decided to stop being president after two four-year terms. Today we follow his example. No one can be the president for more than two four-year terms. Who was the first president? George Washington was the first president of the United States. Question 69. Who is the father of our country? George Washington is called the father of our country. He was the general of the American army during the War of Independence. He was the first president of the United States. He became a symbol for the new government. His image is on the $1 bill. Many places are named for George Washington. The capital of the United States is named Washington, D.C. One of the 50 states is named Washington. Who is the father of our country? George Washington is the father of our country. Now let's get ready for our citizenship interview and civics quiz. We're going to do 17 and 400 questions and 10 civics questions. This is a summary of the information that we've learned this week. Let's get started. Question one. How are you eligible to become a U.S. citizen? A. I'm over 65 years old. B. I have three passports. C. I've been living here for five years. D. I have been a legal permanent resident for five years. Question two, what is your current legal name? A, Peter Lee, B, Cockett Lee, C, Mr. Lee, D, Manager Lee. Question three, what is your country of nationality? A, 
I was born in Hong Kong. B. I had a British passport. C. I moved to Vancouver, Canada. D. Now I am a Canadian citizen. Question 4. What is your home address? A. San Jose 95131 B. Vancouver C. Hong Kong D. 818 Hostetter Road, San Jose, California 95131 Question 5. Do you work? A. B. C. D. Select 1. Question 6. Have you ever traveled outside of the United States? A. I don't know. B. Maybe. C. No. D. Yes. Question 7. Are you divorced? A. B. C. D. Select 1. Question 8. How many children do you have? A. I don't know. B. I am a single child. C. I don't have any children. D. I have one child. Question 9. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? A. I don't know. B. Maybe. C. No. D. Yes. Question 10. Do you owe any taxes? A. I pay all my taxes every year. B. I pay with my credit card. C. I do my own taxes. D. I hate taxes. Question 11. Have you ever been a terrorist? A. No. I hate horror movies. B. No. I have never used violence to control people or governments. C. Yes. I am afraid of many things. D. Yes, I like to fight. Question 12. Have you ever participated in a rebel group, militia, or army? A. I don't know. B. Maybe. C. No. D. Yes. Question 13. Have you ever been arrested or committed a crime? A. I took classes, but I graduated. B. I used to drink, but now I'm sober. C. I was in a jail, but now I am on parole. D. I was sick, but now I'm healthy. Question 14. Do you support the U.S. Constitution? A. I don't know. B. Maybe. C. No. D. Yes. Question 15. If the law requires it, 
Are you willing to bear arms in the U.S. Army? What is bear arms? I will A. Join the armed forces B. Support the armed forces C. Use a weapon to protect the U.S. D. Work in the armed forces without using a weapon. Question 16. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the U.S. Army? What is non-combatant? I will A. Join the armed forces B. Support the armed forces C. Use a weapon to protect the United States D. Work in the armed forces without using a weapon. Question 17. Do you promise that everything on your N-400 is true? A. I don't know. B. Maybe. C. No. D. Yes. Are you ready for the civics and history questions? What is one reason colonists came to America? A. Religious economics. B. Religious freedom. C. Religious opportunities. D. Religious parties. Question 2. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. A. Arawak. B. Aztec. C. Metis. D. Toltec. Question 3. There were 13 original states. Name three. A. Delaware. B. Maine. C. Maryland. D. Massachusetts. Question 4. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because A. They couldn't own property. B. They didn't have self-government. C. They had to pay taxes every year. D. They weren't self-employed. Question 5. What did the Declaration of Independence do? A. Said that the tea and paper were free. B. Said that the British were free. C. Said that the slaves were free. D. Said that the United States is free. Question 7. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? A. July 2nd, 1626. B. July 4th, 1776. C. July 4, 1826. D. July 2nd, 1976. Question 8. What are the two rights in the Declaration of Independence? A. Life and Liberty. B. Life and Power. C. Power and the Pursuit of Happiness. D. Pursuit of Happiness and Property. Question 9. Who was the first president? A. John Adams. B. Benjamin Franklin. C. Thomas Jefferson. D. George Washington. Question 10. Who is the father of our country? A. John Adams. B. Benjamin Franklin. C. Thomas Jefferson. D. George Washington.
Okay, for homework, I would like you to practice your reading. Who was George Washington? And for writing, Washington was the first president. Also, I would like you to practice the B-5 citizenship interview and review the Declaration of Independence and go back and you can download this paper quiz and take it at your own pace. For extra credit, I want you to discuss who is the father or mother of your country and watch these videos. Listen and read along history playlist, which basically highlights each word from one of the VOA radio shows about American history. And also for Voice of America, we have a whole playlist of one minute videos of each one of the American presidents. They go pretty fast, but they are pretty fun and you're gonna learn a lot in just a minute. So that's it for this week. Thank you for letting me share a cup of coffee with you and some flashcards about the American independence and our first president, George Washington. And I hope to see you again real soon. Stay home, stay healthy, stay strong. I know you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.